Okay guys, I'm back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to fix arrow key not working. You can see this arrow key. Uh, if your arrow key is not working in your PC, the certain steps that you can try, I hope it helps. The first thing is, you're going to check the hardware. So when you talk about the hardware, you can see it's a hardware, it's a mouse. Uh, you just uh, unplug it, okay, and then if you're using external, so if you're using internal, uh, if the cursor is with the touchpad in your laptop, so you skip this step. So if you're using a mouse, just unplug it, wait for 10 to 15 minutes, and then again, plug it back again. See if your arrow key is working. If your arrow key is still not working, you just plug in to the different port. And then you're gonna check if it arrow key is working fine. The third thing that you need to keep in mind, see if your cable is working fine, if any problem with your cable. The fourth thing that you're gonna check with the hardware is, you just have to clean it. Make sure uh, you take a thin brush and just try to clean all the surface. Even here, with a thin brush, you just try to clean it. Maybe a dust over there. Even try to clean the surface and then plug in it back again properly and check if it is working fine. So dust and dust can cause the problem. It's a fourth thing that you're gonna check with respect to hardware. Let's say you do not have any kinds of hardware issue. So the next thing is, give a right click on this PC Click on Manage. Now you go to Device Manager and then you're going to find somewhere Mouse. Here it is. It's a mouse and pointing device. Give a right click on it. Update the driver. The first thing that you're going to do. The problem is not fixed. Give a right click on it. So you have three different, even if you have a PS slash 2 compatible mouse. So whichever you're using, or you can do with all three if you are confused uh, which one you should do. Disable it and enable it back again. Uh, uninstall the driver, restart your PC, and then again plug in your driver. Your driver will be automatically installed when you restart your PC after uninstalling. You can scan for the hardware change. And the next thing finally you can go do is go to the properties. Here you have a driver details. You can see driver versions and everything. Uh, if you have an option to roll back driver, currently you do not have. If you have an option to roll back driver, you can you can try roll backing your driver. So all these things, uh, uh, I hope uh, help. Uh, if do not help, what you guys gonna do? You just uh, try troubleshooting. So go to the search, and then here you have troubleshooting settings. Go to troubleshooting settings. And this will open uh, the troubleshooting settings. Here you have a additional troubleshooter. So you have a lots of options whether you have a problem with a different device. So sometimes you'll be using a touchpad in your keyboard. So select keyboard and run a troubleshooter. It will detect for the issue and try to fix all your keyboard issue. Since touchpad in your laptop is connected to the keyboard, and even you can check for the detailed information. So this is the next thing that you can do in order to fix this issue. So what is the next you're gonna do if your problem is still exists is try updating your PC. I give a right click on it and go to settings. Inside settings, here you have update and security. Inside update and security, here you have. Uh, you can see below there's a lots of update available. If any update is available, you can just uh, download and install it. Click on download and install, it will start downloading and installing. Even you can manually check for the updates, you can see it's checking for the updates. It will check for the update, click on check for the updates to check for the update and install it. This is the next thing that you can do in order to fix the issues. So updating will all update almost everything in your PC and it will download all the necessary stuff and install it into your PC. So this is the next thing that you can do in order to fix this issue. Next thing you can do is, if it is with the mouse, you can see here it is a mouse. 
type a mouse in your search box and here you can open the mouse setting once you open the mouse setting here you have you can here troubleshoot my mouse click on troubleshoot my mouse so this will open the web page where you have a lots of solution so finally uh, uh, go with the solution manually you can look for more solution on the web if all these steps in this tutorial do not help you so I have just uh, going to guide you with some of the best solution I hope help here you have additional mouse option here you have a scroll in active windows when I hover over them and here you have a mouse so if you have uh, any issue any changes that you want to make here over here in the settings uh, you can do it or leave it to default here you have a touchpad so if you are using a touchpad you can see here if you have made uh, any changes in in your touchpad setting sometime so it might be causing the problem let's say I have made some changes so here I have an option to reset so you can reset it and it will reset it to the default setting so it is grayed out if you do not have uh, made any changes and if it is already to the default if you have made any changes you will see option over here to reset like see I have made some changes and here I have an option to reset so you can reset it to the default if you have made any changes to the touchpad setting and see if your cursor is working fine now sometimes on screen keyboard helps so when you type on screen on your search box here you have on screen keyboard even you can type as it is and it appears over here so sometimes you can just use on screen keyboard it's very helpful sometimes this on screen keyboard will help you so next thing that you can do is here it is you know on screen keyboard even you can use uh, over here it is uh, it's uh, a scroll lock if it is turned off you can just uh, turn it on sorry guys if it is turned on you can just turn it off a scroll lock will just lock your scroll so you can just uh, turn it off uh, even you have this setting in your keyboard so somewhere if you find it in your keyboard you can use your keyboard to on off this uh, scroll lock just have to turn it off it is turned on if you do not find it in your keyboard you can use on screen keyboard to turn it off so the next thing you can do is guys here you can see it's a Dell update currently I'm using a Dell laptop so it is a Dell update app it's an application that will update almost all the uh, Dell application and even the hardware along with the BIOS sometimes you'll have a support assistant like support assistants or for Dell support assistant for HP which is support assistant for SS whatever laptop you are using you can just uh, go to the you can see currently some update is available over here so you can see let me show you you can see lots of update is available a BIOS update is available and different other updates are available so I can just uh, install all these updates and it will fix almost all the issue along with the mouse cursor error and several other errors will be fixed up so I can just install all the update clicking on install and it will start installing all the updates so you can download this from internet just open any browser and you can download uh, it's a free software you can download this assistant support assistant for HP, SS, Dell or uh, for any laptop any brand you are using so all these steps to fix this issue. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you guys like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff. Have a good day.